Hello everyone, here are some photos I had um, printed out from my calf muscle, a marking from a beige black mamba snake that developed over uh, two and a half months roughly. Um, I started getting markings on my calf muscle from the venom from the beige black mamba snake that went between my legs on the trail the Union Canal Connector Trail at Greens Mill and Blue Marsh Lake in Berks County Pennsylvania someone who called herself Melissa took me through that trail on July 2nd 2019 I was never on that trail prior to that time I went back on the 4th of July and that's when a brown black mamba snake bit my sneaker, put what appeared to be like a razor blade cut in it, but when I opened my sneaker up you can see that it's not just a razor blade cut. Um, here's some other photos and it deposited a lot of neurotoxin in my sneaker. Um, unfortunately my family doctor Dr. Brackbill just blew it off like it was nothing. Um, I took my sneakers into him and he said, oh, a stick could have did that to your sneaker and stuck his fingers inside my sneaker and pulled out the neurotoxin and called it a stone. So this is probably the best picture of the beige black mamba snake's face. She left a beautiful face marking. <laughs> I only say it's beautiful because she didn't bite me. Um, maybe because it was mating season, I have no idea. But I think I saw also in the tree line um, when I went back through the trail to get back to my car, because at this time I'm thinking, okay, well, this is a setup. They purposely lured me through this trail, knowing I would come back again, and it's a black mamba snake den, or worse. Um, when the brown black mamba snake bit my sneaker, I wasn't sure what bit my sneaker, because it happened so quickly. Ripped the the back of my sneaker and went up the side but I heard a big snake moving in the brush there's like four foot brush three and a half or four foot brush um, I didn't look in the brush but I heard a big snake moving in there and I wasn't sure if that's the snake that bit me but when I got out towards the end of the trail I turned around and there was a brown black mamba snake standing three and a half feet to four foot high and did one of those moves where it bows um, and goes back up like a warning. Um, I didn't know what to do. You might think it's crazy, but I just turned my back to it and went up to the visitor center. I wasn't sure what the snake did after that because I don't have eyes on the back of my head, but I'm still alive, so maybe I did the right thing. I did not go towards the snake. They pro it probably would have viewed that as aggression on my part. Um, maybe, I guess I played it the right way and just by turning around... I was submissive enough that the snake just left me alone. Um, the crazy thing was, was going back through the trail again to get back to my car that was parked at Greens Mill, roughly six and a half to seven miles away. Have a great one.